I'm Jasmine Haynes and welcome to this installment of General Conference 101. This video is one of many communications resources made available to you about General Conference. The purpose of General Conference 101 is to provide clarity on what exactly General Conference is, why we have General Conference, and how what happens at General Conference may impact your local church. This video picks up where the delegation left off, talking about how items move through legislative committees and make their way to the Committee on Calendar and Coordination. Bishop Tracy Smith Malone, Episcopal leader in the East Ohio area, was the chairperson of the Calendar and Coordination Committee at the 2016 General Conference. Bishop Malone took some time from her schedule to help us better understand what the Calendar and Coordination Committee does and how legislation moves from Calendar and Coordination to the General Conference plenary floor. Well, the rules of the General Conference stipulates the work and the role and the responsibilities of the committee. The committee is composed of 15 members drawn from each jurisdiction, with at least six being lay members of the General Conference. It includes membership from the Commission on General Conference, and it also includes the elected coordinator of the calendar. This committee is responsible for guiding the order of business for the General Conference. The General Conference considers well over a thousand pieces of legislation, in addition to receiving reports from various agencies and electing various officers. So there are competing priorities on the importance of legislative items. The Committee on Agenda and Calendar must sort through all of this work and all of the requests and then decide what business should come before the conference and when the business will be conducted. Now, some of the decisions in regards to agency presentations, celebrations, and worship services, those are made by the Commission on General Conference, their program committee. The Agenda and Calendar Committee meets every morning at 6.30 a.m. And for part of the meeting, the committee is joined by the chairs of all of the legislative committees, as well as the bishops who will be presiding on that day. That's a very good question. The things that are prioritized by the Book of Discipline and the rules of the conference they provide a framework for how the committee prioritizes the legislation. The committee reviews all of the legislative items that have been passed through the legislative committees and that are available for consideration by the General Conference, and then consults with the legislative committee chairs about their priorities for presentation. Consultation takes place regarding these priorities and then the committee decides the order of presentations for that given day. Well, this is a very large task and this work requires much grace and patience. It also requires collaboration between the committee and the legislative committee chairs and it's so important that the legislative chairs manage well the work that gets done in the legislative committees. And then it's up to the agenda and calendar committee to work with them to make sure that the good work that these legislative committees have done make it to the floor of the General Conference. General Conference 2020 will convene from May 5th through May 15th in Minneapolis. For more information on General Conference 2020, make sure you visit the conference website or you could like the Mississippi United Methodist Conference on Facebook. Stay tuned for future details and updates. 